Samoe Amu ia lava ue E Samo lo ufatu O te lema e ta uatu Ta lo fa I am Dr. Robin Fomwina and I'm here to share with you a successful strategy that I call E-A-S-Y, easy. E-A-S-Y happens when you believe, accept, and move, bam! But before I go on, I would like to mention that I do not own the rights to the songs used as part of my talk. I do give special credit to a Samoan sister, Aggie Sua Houston of the Oa Uole Samoa song, and give credit to all the other artists as well for their inspirational music. E-A-S-Y has made me execute my plan, has made me A, acknowledge my setbacks, barriers, and failures, has made me S, sell it, and has made me Y, yearn enough. You know, with this successful strategy, I was able to become this young, female Samoan MD, a strategy that may become useful during your journey to success. And if you're already successful, it might serve to refresh and enhance or even open up an opportunity, a strategy that may hopefully spark interest in someone to become a medical doctor to help meet the demands of the imminent physician shortage that we are now facing in the nation and here in Samoa. You know, I've never met anybody or come across anyone who has ever said, I pray to live a hard life, or even say, I hope to have a hard day today, or say, please, give me a hard time. I'm sure for most of us, we would rather choose and live easy. That's me. I choose easy. I live easy like Sunday morning, yeah. E and E-A-S-Y is to execute your plan by believing that your plan will work. Make sure that your plan is simple and clear, that it has a deadline. For me, I kept writing out my plan. I kept it simple and I would write, I want to be a medical doctor. I will be a medical doctor and I am a medical doctor. And even practiced signing my name with the initials MD simple and clear. I pictured myself in a white coat with my stethoscope around my neck, making rounds in a hospital somewhere in the United States. And I kept telling myself, I'm going to do this and I will be done by my 30th birthday. This was my deadline. I believed in it so much, visualized it so clearly that for the most part, it became true as in, True, la, 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 I love it when you call me Doc Fomuina. It's true, la, la, la. Here's what's true. To execute your plan, you must accept these truths early in your journey. You must accept that it will require a lot of time from start to end. It will require a lot of time before you will actually get paid. And why is this important? Because many will not even attempt challenging journeys like this to become medical doctors because it requires too much time. Many of us would say, I don't have time. Oh, trust me, you've got time. This is why it is key to map out your plan early and really see how much time it will require to accomplish your goals. Mine mapped out to be about 13 years. It would take 13 years of my life to stay focused, stay committed, and even miss out on major life events to become a medical doctor. But the moment you process that and allow your mind to accept it, it becomes easy because now your mind will block out 13 years of your life and allow you to easily focus on the mission ahead and be able to execute your plan except that it will take a lot of time before you get paid. Many of us love instant gratification. Nowadays, it's as simple as a swipe, an app, and a click. But if you truly want to fulfill becoming a medical doctor, accept this thought. 
Doctors are consistently employed professionals. So although not instant, where you can just get paid by the click of a button, it is a stable long-term profession. And while you wish everyone was cheering you on through all this long path, here's another truth. Execute your plan knowing and accepting that many will doubt you. Many will doubt that you will succeed. Why is this even worth mentioning? Well, it's because it is the doubter's negative energy that will cause many to not even attempt to try to take up these challenging journeys. It is the doubter's negative energy that caused many to even fail the journey. Waste no time on the doubters. Give those who doubt you zero attention. Focus all your energy on executing your plan. And remember, it is not their plan, it's yours. And your plan was designed specifically for you. Because every moment that you will experience along your journey will create and influence the person you will become. My plan was designed to take the non-traditional pathway to pursue medicine. Many have asked, why? I answered, why not? Because if I didn't take this path, I would not have become an international medical graduate, where now I can network with many friends throughout the world who are practicing medicine and who keep my medical perspective global. If I did not take this path, I would not appreciate and respect the different cultures and their ways of practicing medicine, which has made me more culturally sensitive in my practice. And if I didn't take this path, I wouldn't be so confident that at least I challenged myself against so many international medical graduates who are now practicing medicine in the United States. And if I didn't take this path, I would not have learned to be resilient, where I am able to adapt and positively respond in the face of change. Be proud of the plan designed for you. And as long as it meets your goals and your plans, that's all that matters. It's for you. And execute your plan by making the move. Even if you literally had to move outside of the country to make it happen. Move your plans as top priority and keep moving forward regardless of situation. And as long as you believed, accepted, and made the move, bam, your plan will be executed. Easy. A and E-A-S-Y, acknowledge early that there will be setbacks, barriers, and failures along your journey. You must believe that you can and will overcome it. Accept this thought early in your journey so when it comes time, it will be easy to digest and face, acknowledge and accept that change is necessary in the face of failure. I had to change. I had to change my way of thinking. I had to change my attitude and started replacing my negative thoughts and negative attitudes with positive ones. I had to change my language and moved away from saying that things were impossible to saying that things were possible. Moved away from saying that things were hard and started to say that everything will be easy. The change had to start with me. I started with the woman in the mirror. I've asked her to change her ways and no message could have been any clearer if I want to make the world a better place take a look at myself and make the change and once these changes happened I was able to acknowledge and fine-tune what was really causing the setback my barrier for me in my journey it was standardized tests I had poor standardized test taking skills I had to acknowledge this. It was my weakness and recognize that I needed help because to survive in the pursuits of a medical degree and a medical license, you need to pass a multitude of standardized tests from the MCAT to the comps or the national board exams to the USMLE steps one, two, and three. This led me to take another non-traditional path of learning. I had to take test prep courses like the Kaplan, the Princeton Review, and the PASS program to learn and sharpen my test-taking skills and overcome this barrier. And during this challenging journey, you will notice that there will be fewer and fewer P 
people that are still around to support you. Acknowledge them. Acknowledge your support system and thank them each and every day because at your lowest moments, all you may have left is their energy to push you through. Now that you've acknowledged your weakness, don't dwell on it. You've recognized it. You've made the necessary changes. Now move and make your weakness your strength. Because once you do, you'll want to sing with me. I'm a survivor. I'm going to make it. I'm a survivor, and I'll keep on surviving. Now, I'm not the expert test taker, but I can at least say I've practiced and learned enough about these standardized tests that it's no longer a weakness of mine. Setbacks and barriers acknowledged by believing, accepting, and making the necessary move. Bam! Easy. Now you have to S and E A S Y. Sell it. If you've not noticed, life is full of competitions. In this phase of your journey, you should be able to answer this key question, why you? Why shall we pick you over the hundreds of applicants? Why shall we give you this spot to be a student of our medical school, to be a resident physician in our residency program, let alone be the chief of our program, or even hire you on as one of our MDs in our practice? Why? Sell it. Tell them that you believe in yourself and sing your praises. And I sing because I'm happy. And I sing because I'm free. Yes, I am. Sell it by accepting the opportunity to point out all your good qualities, by saying why you are special. Don't be afraid to say all the good things about you because no one else will. People usually sing your praises at your funeral. Say it now. This is your moment. Own it. Sell it by moving and making it all about you. Selfish sounding, yes I know. But guess what? This is how most successful people operate. They know enough about themselves. They know their qualities and they sell it. They bring it. Oh, they own it. When they ask me, why me and why am I worthy? I had to sell it to them. Robin, what does that even mean for us? It means I have a fearless heart, always willing to take up challenges. It's all loto. I have a humble heart that is full of respect for others. I have a heart that is passionate to serve tirelessly. And a heart that fights for truth. Sold! Sold, they said. You believed it, you accepted it, and you moved on. Bam! Easy. And now that you've proven your worthiness, you have to Y in E-A-S-Y, yearn enough to make it to the end. You've got to want your plan all the time, and not just sometime. Yearn and believe that it will be granted. Get down on your knees and pray for it. Toa tuli matatalo ile anganga fiso soni. Yes, yearn and accept the blessings to flow right through you. And as long as you yearn enough, it will make you move to the end and meet your deadline. You've yearned enough. You've believed enough, you've accepted enough, and you've moved enough to make it to the end. Bam! Easy. Choosing easy, E-A-S-Y, has allowed me opportunities and has gifted me with success. Choose and think easy all the time. I hope this successful strategy will help you along your journey. I hope it will spark interest and produce more medical doctors. Don't forget, once you reach your success, pay it forward. 
and always remember where you started. E o a u o l e s a m o a e a m u i a l a v a u e e s a m o a l o u f a t u o t e l e m a e t a u a t u